It's another Manly Monday, and this Manly Monday, you can see by the name of the video, if you're watching the Jonathan Majors trial. Uh, well, watching watching the coverage. It's not televised, and that is uh, going to be a big part of my caution here. Um, if you saw some of my Johnny Depp coverage back in the day, uh, it's going to be a very similar caution, because in situations like this, People tend to put their own experiences onto the various people in this trial. They slot themselves in one of the roles and that way lies madness because this story is not your story. Um, no matter what the outcome, what happened to you was real. Uh, no one can take that away from you people will talk shit, you know what happened, all right? Um, and I want to talk about the details here to to make it, because this one's murky. So if you like this kind of content, help support this channel, become a monthly patron, patreon.com ah, patreon slash Leanna K. It's right there. Or buy a one-time Leanna Care session for somebody who can't afford it, coffee.com slash Leanna K. Or the GoFundMe. Um... I have not had as many people claiming their feel, you know, claiming being traumatized, re-traumatized by this. I think because due to the, the various wars around the world, it isn't, you know, the trial of the century territory. But it it is, um, it does hit some buttons and I have been really disturbed with how the media is covering it. Um, especially with the sensational headlines about him talking about having suicidal thoughts. Now, YouTube does not allow me to get too much into that. Thanks, YouTube rules. Uh, but I, I don't like the idea that talking about having those thoughts is being presented as inherently abusive. The type of emotional abuse that is being asserted in this relationship relies heavily on context. And to this point, we have only heard the prosecution side. We have not heard the defense side. Now, whether Jonathan Majors is going to testify or not, hard to say. But... Uh, We've only heard the prosecution side, and of course the prosecution side looks bad. Now, I, th there is, the lawyers screwed up, in my opinion, going too hard on, on the accuser. Um, Jonathan Major's lawyer is not Camille Vasquez, uh, who handled the cross-examination of Amber Heard so well uh i think that well one the lawyer just made a mistake because a comp a particular line of questioning opened up uh rebuttal evidence that was previously sealed that led to another round of headlines now this may be grounds for appeal because originally the evidence was considered overly prejudicial and then the judge let part of it in. And what the evidence, according to the press, suggests is that there was a previous domestic violence incident or domestic violence illusion. Um, and this has got to be particularly difficult for um, racialized men because... <laughs> The fact that black men tend to get in trouble with the cops is part of the thing that the prosecution is using to say he did it. Which, um, the, the biggest issue with the prosecution's story, because don't forget, this is, this is criminal. This isn't about who this isn't a preponderance of evidence standard this is is there reasonable doubt that he did what she is claiming he did 
and the the quest the the accusation in question is whether he caused the particular injuries that the police found the next morning when he called them because she was unresponsive in their apartment and um the fact that she went clubbing after the incident of the car and drank a lot and then took sleeping pills on top of a lot of alcohol it it doesn't mean she's lying it's just reasonable doubt you know especially since there's there's video of her using the hand in um it's apparently security video or something like that they leaked it to they leaked it to the press before the trial his defense team did so i guess this is the the common tactics now they adam waldman it uh that's a that's the guy who leaked to the press during the johnny depp stuff um but it you know it, it is seen as a tactic when it's really about uh public opinion more than anything um if they can convince enough people that you know jonathan majors has been done dirty here um they you know they're preserving his career no matter the outcome and and i mean keep in mind this is a misdemeanor assault charge this has been really there there is no claim of sexual assault um th the claims of the accuser are not as outlandish as Ab amber heard's it's the fact that he's famous and so this became a big thing and his career is on the line because of a fight in a car and some people may find that um not fair now, the problem is that it's come up that he talked about being suicidal. And unfortunately, th this is the part that I, I want to talk about. And I, I want to do some support here because I don't know Jonathan Majors. I think he's a really good actor. Um, but I don't know him. He could be a complete shitbag. Um, maybe he's a great guy. I don't know. I don't know him. I do know that the media handles discussions of some of these things regarding men piss poorly. And this particular thing, talking about being suicidal, talking about wanting to die, is one of these things a lot of men feel. A lot of men feel great shame when they find out that people know and that that was my issue with that being the headline on two days of of trial the argument is that he used that to control her and uh, that's not great for people dealing with suicidal thoughts because it's better to talk about them. The, the big worry is when someone stops talking about those thoughts while they're still having them. And yes, there are times where people, you know, the con the context of the exchanges does not seem to be, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. It seemed to be, I mean, one of them was after um, the incident saying like, that's it or, or something happened. And, and he's like, that's it, you know, and I have been, I have been a, around men who have done that and It's, it's hard to know. Again, it's better if they're talking. It is. As difficult as it is because p 
people are very, very afraid to do anything or say anything. Um, I've been in situations where I've, you know, one thing they teach you about this kind of thing is that you're not supposed to keep it a secret if you really think someone is going to harm themselves do something better they're mad at you and alive than you know you kept the secret and they're not around anymore but it it is really hard to be the person that goes look i i gotta call somebody and and bear the brunt of you're the face of their shame in that moment that that's really hard but you know what else is hard feeling that shame and I do think that that's something that all people, but it's, it's not, it's, it's just not seen the same way when different types of people talk that way. And it's not right. It's just so. And so if you are feeling beat up, by the media reports because that became the focus uh, please understand that it is better to talk about it i i apologize the discord um the discord links for this month went out late so people are just you know just getting the server invites now i, I apologize for that that was uh just the way last week went Emotional abuse is a very, very difficult thing to determine from the outside. It's especially when something is in text, it feels very different at the time than, you know, when, when cooler heads prevail much later. And, you know, can I see a scenario where, you know, Jonathan Majors was saying, oh, God, you know, my life's over. There's going to be an investigation. It doesn't matter if I did it or not. You know, I, I can see him having a bad moment there that was innocent and he didn't necessarily communicate um, well. I can also see him picking up some very dramatic behaviors in theater school and and not realizing why that's not okay to do to people because, you know, he saw pretentious privileged people at Yale doing it all the time. And it's people do pick up language patterns from their environment, not recognizing it reads differently um, when, you know, you're not the in-group. And let's face it, is race here matters. It, it matters to a state of mind and the fact that that is being used against him as well as a lever. And this is one of those things where... Yeah, he could have been using it against her. He could. But again, this isn't about him. This is about the people watching it, seeing themselves in this and going, man, I'm fucked. And I mean, he was clearly having trouble with the pressure of being the guy in a major Marvel franchise. And who wouldn't? Right? I, I wouldn't want my worst moments from the pressures on being put up for public consumption. And no matter what happens with the verdict, that's what that is. And it does feel very exposed. I feel very uncomfortable that this had to become public because of a of an element of New York law where they must charge under the circumstances. The cops, based on the, you know, the responding officer's account, they 
he they really had no choice but to lay the charge. I'm not sure why they're pursuing the charge. Apparently, people often don't fight misdemeanors because it's very expensive and they often don't have jail time. So people just want to, you know, get on with their lives. It's, it's only assault, you know, it's often community service. So they don't want to miss work. They don't want to spend all that money. Just plea bargain and, and get on with your life. And so how, how many people have been railroaded by this system? Because it's not worth fighting it. The only reason this is worth fighting it is, you know, the guy's career is on the line because he's, he's being lumped in and, and, you know, there's the, the issue of the Rolling Stone article as well, which, which got also very messy. Everything around this case is messy. And this is why I'm not a fan of screen grab wars online because they can go they can go either way they they can you can be a hundred percent right and people will not see what you were feeling in that moment they will hinge their opinions on word choices and when it comes right down to it when these things end up high profile like this everyone loses and i i do believe that you know badly behaved people should should have consequences i i hope that you know jonathan major's current relationship seems to be better uh, maybe he got some help since this happened because he realized he can't live like this anymore. Maybe now that he's had, you know, the, the Creed film as well that, and that did well. And he, he got recognition for that. Maybe he settled down some, uh, it's really important that if you do recognize yourself in some of the things he's saying, please reach out and talk to people. Um, if you don't trust the people in your immediate circle, call a crisis line. If you don't trust crisis lines and... Not all crisis lines are created equal. Uh, so if you're not comfortable with that, talk to someone, anybody. This is why we started the Discord and why I do the Leanna Care stuff. Um, but, you know, seeking comfort on social media. You know, there's a reason we have a, a, a dedicated mental health channel on the discord server because that's what it's for. And there, there are, there have been people who reached out during a rough time and people were, were really supportive and that was really good. And we need more resources where people can just do that and voice it and, and get through it. Cause I do think a lot of the reason that people don't, don't talk is they don't want the the t the attention. They they don't want the big three wing circus. Positive attention, negative attention. When you're an introvert, sorry, I dropped a pin, and I want to make sure the cats don't get it. Um, when you're an introvert, even positive attention, even supporting attention, supportive attention, can be overwhelming. I went through that last Monday. Oh my God. I do not want a day like that for a very, very long time, if ever. Um, and so those smaller settings where people do care and people will ask questions, but you know, you can, you can be a person and just sense that 
you're seen and you're heard and you're treated like a human. We don't have enough things in our society where people are treated like humans. And so we get these, you know, sensational situations where people's private lives are being splayed out in the media on something that should never have gotten as, as big as it was. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that she, well, she didn't go to the police is the thing. She was found unresponsive and it was what she said at, at the time when, when the police were contacted that led to this whole thing. She didn't actually call them. He did because he was concerned about her. Not again, that doesn't mean he didn't lose it. You know, that doesn't mean he doesn't need to take a good hard look in the mirror and think, what am I doing? And maybe he has. Again, this isn't about him. This is about the people watching this and seeing the media circus and thinking, oh my God, nobody cares about people like me. It's not true. People do care. Lots of people care. There's two parts. If there are, you know, some, some legit abusive people in your life, they may be blocking the people from, from you who, who, who care or who, who could care about you. It's also, you, you have to let it in. And this may seem very counterintuitive, but, but trust me, it was very hard for me to allow people giving a shit to feel good. Every time I was noticed, even positively, it, it was terrifying for me for a while. I'm still not great at it. I've gotten a lot better, but there's still work to do. But, you know, as somebody who has worked in extremely abusive media environments, um, where, you know, I, I can, I can see the pressure with, that Jonathan Majors was under there that doesn't excuse if he got violent. It, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. We can acknowledge that things happen and not say it was right or good. We can even say it was actively bad. Humans, humans are not simple. Humans are like that. And you know, it, um, and I'm not, I'm not condemning the guy. I'm just being very careful because the trial's not done and we don't know what's coming and we don't want a ju jury's going to decide. I also know there are a lot of guys walking around because they did do stuff in the past that they regret and they're constantly afraid of. Everybody's going to see when they find out. They'll hate me. You know, they'll, they'll leave. Everything like that. And... Some people will, some people won't. All you can do is be at peace with it. I mean, you guys all know I have a stalker and she pops up every so often and it's amazing to me who believes her bullshit. It's also amazing to me who doesn't believe her bullshit. You know, Kotaku in action saw through her and that's you know the former gamergate subreddit so it's like all right that's cool um people aren't simple and all you can do is work on that self-concept so that your sense of worth is not achievement driven and that sounds like how of course, achievements make us feel better. Achievements can 
help us feel like we did good things. Achievements do not help us feel like we are good people. Feeling supported even when things don't go your way. That's what gives you the sense of having value. And in a world where everything is based on go, 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 hustle, produce, you know, we that's lost. And, you know, don't, if you're nodding along, if, if you're hearing about this stuff and going, yeah, okay, a lot of this is making sense to me, but what do I do now? I find that what what we do with with the groups I'm setting up is I, you know, people get there and talk about various things, video games, current events, writing, TV, anime, you know, that kind of stuff. And, you know, you, you meet people and then you think somebody's cool and you talk to them and you talk to them a little bit more. And then, you know, there's a level of, okay, this person seems reasonably decent. And it's just a process. And there seems, there, there's a pretty supportive group that's formed full of very different people from very different walks of life. And we rub each other the wrong way sometimes. But that's the whole point. We rub each other the wrong way people don't get thrown out groups don't get you know the whole thing doesn't fall apart we just all right people had a bad day we move on you know n none of this you're banned without any explanation and i think that's what what freaks out so many people with things like you know the johnny depp thing the jonathan majors thing is that one accusation can be it, you know? And, and there are people not open to the fact that, you know, maybe he did do something wrong because they're seeing so much of themselves in it. Now, again, I'm not saying he did. Trial's not over. Point is, he's not you. And life is not, like, success as a human is not about being in a being in a big movie, you know, or being famous. Obviously, a lot of famous wealthy people are really unhappy. It's about feeling like you matter, feeling like when you talk, people, you know, notice, hopefully, care, and. It's hard for people who have been through a shit ton of rejection to try again. There's just no other way to do it. And so the whole idea of the Discord and of the groups and of the one-on-one -on -one stuff is to make that process as simple and supported as possible because it's not easy nothing about this is easy life's not easy it's not it's not nothing worthwhile is ever easy it doesn't have to feel this bad okay it doesn't have it shouldn't feel this bad if you know you're you're relating to this case so i'll leave it there um Please, if you feel like you need to talk to somebody, fill out the Leanna Cares contact form or help support this channel. Become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Leanna K or buy a one-time Leanna Care session for somebody who's but can't afford a coffee.com slash Leanna K or the GoFundMe. Um, if you, uh, I, I will send out the Discord stuff, like the, the link again for people that do need someone to talk to now. If you, if you donate to this stuff, if you are having financial challenges and can't afford it right now, that's why we have donated sessions. Please just, please talk to someone. 
don't suffer alone. So thanks for watching Manly Mondays.